The new TiVo Bolt allows you to eliminate commercials, watch TV shows faster, and brings 4K to the TiVo platform for the first time. And we're opening it up right now. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Unboxing Live. I'm Andrew Weathers. This is the show that brings you vicarious thrills through opening new gear. As I said, today we're taking a look at the brand new TiVo Bolt. Now, if you're a TiVo fan, this actually might be a bit of a departure for you. You can see actually right on front there, it's no secret, there is a bend in this box. So it's not something that lays flat, that's different. This is a brand new product line, the first since TiVo actually redesigned their logo, did a little bit of a cleanup. So, uh, but let's open this thing up and I'm gonna tell you all about what the TiVo Bolt is. If you're a TV watcher and you subscribe to cable TV, basically this will work with anything that's not satellite. So if you have cable, you have Fios, something like that, this will take the place of your cable DVR and it has a bunch of tricks up its sleeve to uh, hopefully get you to make the switch. So again, there's the front, pretty plain, um, compared to TiVo's older boxes, which were usually colorful with yellows and blues and all that stuff, when the colorful TiVo guy now is much more subdued. But as you can see, this is the TiVo Bolt Unified Entertainment System, and I have the 1,000 gigabyte or one terabyte model. Both of the TiVo Bolt models are 4K, and on the side, it actually kind of walks you through skip mode, quick mode, one pass, 4K, works with mobile and has trick play as well, which sounds a little ridiculous. Trick play connects to HD antenna, connects to cable TV. It has all the different apps for streaming. It's got music apps there as well. If the app supports 4K, the TiVo Bolt will display the content in 4K. You can watch it on your TV, mobile devices, or computer, and it records up to four shows at one time. All right. so. We've got the TiVo Bolt Unified Entertainment System setup and product feature. So this kind of walks you through the different features of the device. If you're a cable TV subscriber, you will need a cable card. If you already have a cable card, you can move it into the TiVo Bolt. This is gonna be the TiVo Bolt right here. I'll just put that aside for a moment while we see what's inside this box. New TiVo remote. There's a TiVo thumbs up button sticker. So here you see the white face remote. Look, the TiVo guy no longer has a face, which is consistent with the product packaging. But there you see all the same familiar buttons you're used to. So as you can see there, underneath the D, it says skip. That button is now your commercial skip. And it's actually, you just press it one time and it'll skip through that block of commercials rather than you having to just keep fast forwarding through like you would on an older TiVo or on a competing DVR. It'll skip the entire commercial break at the press of a button. Here is the power brick. That's how you're gonna get power to the TiVo Bolt. They include a pair of AA batteries for the remote, and they even throw in an HDMI cable, which is nice because that's a rarity these days. All right, let's get into the TiVo Bolt itself here. And there it is. So that's the top of it. It's pretty inconspicuous. And then the front, basically it's all white plastic with the TiVo logo there. It's a pretty basic box. And here I'm back and go through the different features and ports. First one is a feature actually, it's the remote finder. It's a button that you press and the TiVo remote will start making a beeping noise and uh, recover your remote. Cable in, so your cable or antenna goes right there. Digital audio, optical out. Got an auxiliary port there. HDMI, ethernet, USB, external storage, eSATA port, you can basically connect an eSATA drive right here. 500 gigabytes or one terabyte isn't enough for you. And you've got your power port for connecting your AC adapter. And then here's the back. Interesting vent at the bottom here, and the vent is on the bottom, which is why it curves there. So it basically lifts itself up in order to allow it to ventilate itself. This can be opened here, and that's where you put in your cable card. So you just take your cable card, you slide it in, you replace this and you're good. Like I said, it's pretty nondescript, it's pretty plain. It's just a white plastic box with a logo on front and then some ports on the back. Then on the bottom, where you slide your cable card in, really you just do that one time and you never worry about that again. And you can see how it lays, kind of interesting, but it gives it a unique look, but it's gonna be difficult to stack anything on top of it, but I guess you can stack this on top of something else. If you're interested in the TiVo Bolt, let's talk about pricing for a moment. You get the 500 gigabyte model for $299, while the one terabyte model runs for $399. Both models include the first year of TiVo service, so when you buy it, you can use it for a full year, and then every year after that, you have to pay a fee of 
$149 for TiVo service in order to keep using the TiVo Bolt. Now we talked about skip mode, which allows you to skip entire blocks of commercials at the press of a button with the TiVo remote. Now let's talk about quick mode. Quick mode allows you to play back shows 30% faster. So you're basically watching your show in a little bit of a fast forward mode. It's not too fast where you can't enjoy it, but it does play 30% faster. And the cool thing is that it keeps the audio normal. So when people are talking, you can still hear them in their normal voice and hear what they're saying. For things like news or sports, you can set those to play back a little faster, enjoy the same audio, but get through your shows quicker. So especially if you're trying to binge watch something, you can get through that a lot faster using quick mode. Now some people were asking if this actually will replace the TiVo Romeo, which was the last version of TiVo. It actually is kind of like a side grade more than it is an upgrade. It's definitely an upgrade in resolution. This does 4K while the Romeo doesn't, but the Romeo Pro will stay in the TiVo lineup because even though it's only 1080p, it does record six shows at a time instead of four, and it has a three terabyte hard drive instead of one. So that can record up to 450 hours of uh, high definition programming at 1080p. If you're interested in that, the TiVo Romeo Pro costs 450 bucks on Amazon, so for $50 more than this one, you get uh, three times the storage space and you get two more tuners, but you lose out on 4K and 4K streaming. That's it for our look at the TiVo Bolt. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Are you a TiVo user? Do you have cable? Do you Have you cut the cord already? Do you just use streaming services? The TiVo Bolt would work with that as well. You don't have to have a cable connection. You can use this just for streaming services. But let me know what you do for TV. What shows do you like? I wanna hear all about it. Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this video, if you like TiVo, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs down. I use that to judge what people like and don't like on this channel and it helps me decide for the future what you guys might wanna see. If you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button. Or if you're not new and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We're hitting you with nonstop videos on tech and gaming all the time gadgets galore and a lot of the time it's pre-release stuff that's not even out yet so if you're into tech this is the place to be thanks for watching guys i'm andrew edwards that was your look at the tivo bolt i'll be coming back to you shortly we have some giveaways coming this month a couple of them including the new apple tv we got a couple of those uh to give away to you guys so keep it locked right here on gear live thanks for watching guys i'm andrew edwards i'll see you in the next video